वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ चित्रा शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर विथ ए आई एस एस एम एस कॉलेज ऑफ होटल मैनेजमेंट एंड कैटरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी पुणे इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी द चैप्टर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री अंडर विच वी विल स्टडी द टॉपिक ऑफ प्रिजर्वेटिव इन टूडेज फास्ट पेस वर्ल्ड द क्वेस्ट टू मेनटेन द फ्रेशनेस ऑफ अवर फूड हैज लेड टू वाइड स्प्रेड यूज ऑफ प्रिजर्वेटिव बट वॉट एग्जैक्टली आर प्रिजर्वेटिव and why are they added in our food simply put preservatives or substances added to food and other products to prevent spoilage decay or microbial growth they come in various forms including natural components derived from plants and animals as well as synthetic chemicals developed in laboratories preservatives play a crucial role in extending the shell life of the food allowing it to be transported stored and consumed over longer periods they inhabit the growth of bacteria yeast molds and other microorganism that can cause food to spoil however the use of preservatives has sparked the debate with some expressing concern about their potential health effects while many preservatives are deemed safe for consumption by regulatory authority that is fssi there is growing interest in the natural alternatives and minimal processing methods as consumers become more conscious of what goes into their food there is a renewed appreciation for freshness and quality whether it is through refrigeration freezing canning or other preservation technique the goal remains the same to enjoy the food that is both safe and flavorful so let us explore the world of preservatives where the science meets the taste in the ongoing quest to preserve freshness the learning objective of this session are number 1 to examine the role of food preservation in the preventing food spoilage number 2 to understand the aim of preservation methods adopted number 3 to maintain the nutritional value of the food this objectives are very important in food preservation there are seven principles of chemical preservatives so let us explore one by one number 1 microbial inhibition chemical preservatives work by inhibiting the growth of microorganism such as bacteria yeast and molds that can spoil food they disturb vital processes within this organism preventing them from multiplying and causing spoilage let us see number 2 that is extended shell life by slowing down or halting microbial growth chemical preservatives help extend the shell life of the food products this allows for longer storage distribution and consumption without compromising safety or quality number 3 wide spectrum of activity many chemical preservatives exhibit a broad spectrum of anti microbial activity targeting multiple types of microorganism this 
versatility makes them effective in variety of food products with different pH level, moisture content and storage conditions. The number four principle dosage and regulation. Effective use of chemical preservatives require careful consideration of dosage levels. Too little may not provide sufficient protection against spoilage while excessive amount can lead to undesirable effects or health concerns. Regulatory agency has set limits and safety standards for the use of preservatives in the food products. The number five principle synergistic effects. In some cases combining multiple chemical preservatives can result in synergistic effects where the overall antimicrobial activity is greater than the sum of individual components. This approach can enhance preservation efficiency while minimizing the need for higher dose of single preservative. The sixth principle functional properties. Beyond microbial inhibition, some chemical preservative may also serve as additional functions such as antioxidant properties to prevent oxidization and maintain product quality or flavor enhancement to improve taste and aroma. The last principle, seventh one, consideration of consumer preferences. As awareness of food addictivities grows, consumer preferences may shift towards the product with fewer or more natural preservatives. Manufacturers often balance the need of preservation with consumer demands for cleaner labels and minimal processing, driving innovation in preservatives technologies. Now we have seen the chemical principles. Now preservatives are classified into class 1 and class 2. Class 1 preservatives are known as antimicrobials. Preservatives are substance added to food, pharmaceuticals, cosmetics and other product to inhabit the growth of microorganism. They play a vital role in preventing spoilage, extending shell life and ensuring product safety. Class 1 preservatives primarily target bacteria, yeast and molds thus maintaining the freshness and the quality of the products. Examples of class 1 preservatives include benzoate, benzonic acid and its salt for example sodium benzoate, potassium benzoate are widely used in antimicrobial agents. They are effective against yeast, molds and some bacteria especially in acidic environments. The second example is sorbets, sorbic acid and its salts. Example, potassium sorbet, calcium sorbet are commonly used to prevent yeast and mold growth in acidic food products and beverages. The third example is parabens. Parabens example methyl paraben, ethyl paraben, proliparaben, butylparaben are esters of parahydrobenzoic acid. They exhibit broad 
spectrum anti microbial activity and of are often used in cosmetics pharmaceuticals and some food products the fourth example is nitrates sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate are used primarily as antimicrobial agents in cured meat products to inhibit the growth of colostrum botulinum bacteria and prevent botulism poisoning they also contribute to the characteristic flavor color and stability of cured meats sulfates sulfur dioxide and sulfate salts example sodium sulfate potassium metabolic sulfate are powerful antimicrobial and antioxidant agents they are commonly used in food and beverage processing to prevent microbial spoilage and enzymatic browning example apple this class 1 preservatives are carefully regulated by food safety authorities that is fssi to ensure their safety and efficiency proper usage and dosage are essential to achieve the desired antimicrobial effect without compromising product quality or consumer health the most common examples are salt salt acts as preservative when it is concentrated in increased about 12% the very common example are pickles sugar is highly concentration acts as preservative due to osmosis that is cane juices and the sherbet and all those things class 2 preservatives are antioxidants a substance added to food cosmetics pharmaceuticals and other products to prevent or slow down oxidative reactions these reactions which involve the transfer of electrons and the formation of free radicals can lead to rancidity color changes flavor deterioration and loss of nutritional value in fats oils and other substitutable component class 2 preservative primarily functions by scavenging free radicals and inhibiting the chain reaction of oxidation thus maintaining product stability and quality some of the common examples of class 2 preservatives include number 1 butylated hydroxynol that is also known as bha bha is a synthetic antioxidant commonly used to prevent lipid oxidization in foods oils fats and cosmetic product it is effective in inhibiting the formation of free radicals and extending the shelf life of various product number 2 butylated hydrotulin that is bhj similar to bha bhd is a synthetic antioxidant used to prevent oxidation in fats oil and food product it helps to maintain product freshness flavor and nutritional value by scavenging free radicals and delaying the onset of rancidity the third example tocopherols which contains vitamin e are group of natural antioxidants with alpha tocopherol being most biologically active form of vitamin e they are commonly used in food dietary supplement and cosmetic product to prevent lipid oxidization and maintain product stability the fourth example is ascorbic acid 
that is vitamin C. Ascorbic acid is a natural antioxidant that plays a crucial role in inhibiting oxidative reactions and preserving the color, flavor and nutrient content of fruits, vegetables, juices and other food products. It is also used in cosmetics and pharmaceuticals for its antioxidant properties. The fifth example is territory butylodrocaine that is TBHQ is a synthetic antioxidant added to oils, fats, snack foods and processed food to prevent oxidization and extend the shell life. It inhibits lipid peroxidization and helps to maintain product quality during storage and distribution. This class 2 preservatives are carefully regulated by food safety authorities to ensure their safety and efficiency. Proper usage and dosage are essential to achieve the desired antioxidant effect without compromising on the product quality or consumer health. So now students, let's have a recap of what we have gone through the content today. First, how the principle, seven principles of food preservation helps in the food storage and what it helps to lead, what it stops to lead to the spoilage of the food. Second, we saw the different food preservation like we saw class one in which we saw the very common example of salt and sugar. We saw class 2 where again 6 principles were there where chemicals were used to preserve the food especially the food which is canned and which is ready to use which is sold with chemical formulation. Third, this preservation also helps us to maintain the nutritional value as you saw in the class 2 preservative there were vitamin E and vitamin C and many chemicals are preserved and they are stored properly. This all preservation chemicals are approved by FSSI which is a regulatory body by government of India. Thank you for today's session. Have a great learning.